Hi guys, Jordan here with East Coast Boys. So just working on the Renegade here today. This is a transmission. Uh, I'm gonna be splitting it. I did just sandblast it all there, but it's still dirty. But anyways, you take out all these bolts here all the way around, all the way around here, There's a couple here. And then this half of the case here is gonna split off. Um, and then there's gears in here, there's a little flat bearing and whatnot in here. Um, I'm gonna show you there once it's all opened up. Uh, on the other side is where your actuator goes to put it in four wheel drive and the shift. Shift lever goes there. Anyways, uh, we're gonna get this cracked open. So what you're gonna want to crack this open, pry bar. You can see here that uh, there's a couple little slots here and there's one over here. See it there. One also right here. And right here. Doesn't seem like there's any more. So basically you just stick your pry bar in here, apply equal pressure all the way around just to pull the case apart. Alright, so we got our split apart here. These gears. Basically this shaft here goes down through there. This shaft is where those teeth go in. Basically, this is a this is a shaft with a with an idler gear on it, free floating gear. Um, in here, you can see this is where the gear is to transfer the power to the front drive shaft. It actually meshes here with this somewhat of a pinion. I guess you could call it a pinion. Here's your shift forks. When you turn this, it moves these shift forks here. Get a better look at it here. These gears are on the shift fork and they move these across back and forth. And they mesh the different combinations to give you your high, low, forward and reverse. So basically you got a bearing on this side of the case right here goes in here and then here is a bearing goes here up against this there's actually a washer and a shim right here it's like a bearing washer I rebuilt this transmission already here last year the year before and this was crushed um, did a little bit of damage on the case here, like it just wore in, but not a big deal, it didn't do much. Here also had a little bit, you can still see like some steel in the case. But replaced it with a new bearing. Last year seems good. Um, I did split this apart um, because I found a couple chunks on the drain bolt. So I was just inspecting the gears here. And I noticed on some of these gears, like you see right here, a broken tooth just a little bit see here's another piece right here looks like the gear lash is good it's sunk down in the teeth quite a bit about three quarters of the way if anybody knows if this is wore out maybe make a comment the angle here. Here's the pinion, the, the little pinion. Just doing a visual inspection. All right, so the case is all apart. Everything's all apart here. Cleaned up the case. It's masked on it there and cleaned it off. I'm gonna be painting it. Match the rest of the bike white so basically we are going to start stacking the gears in here on this side uh, I'm gonna put the shift fork everything all back in oil everything we got the gears back in here so basically uh, I couldn't hold the camera while I was putting it together but I did want to show you how these gears go in um, basically, there is a shim at the very bottom of this. I showed you earlier. Uh, it's a 1.60 shim that I have in here. 
um, just the clearance here pushes this over about over back there's also a shim here that I have on the top um, and then you go you got your gear there's a gear and I uh, that uh, idler gear it's got a plastic bearing inside of it then there's a gear on top of that you can see it down here it has teeth that mesh into that other gear then this whole unit this whole unit is all together this pinion this here has a bearing in here on this idler this was like an idler sprocket or an idler gear and then the very bottom gear that has the plastic bearing in it and then the shim and then at the top you got that little tiny bearing that like washer like bearing which I doused in oil before putting it together I doused everything in oil before putting it together once you put that in you also got shift forks here you got a shift fork here and a shift fork down here on the bottom a little hard to see there but there's, a, there's two shift forks basically before you put this unit in the pinion with the gear and stuff you gotta put that bottom shift fork in the bottom shift fork goes in then you just put this top shift fork on then put this slide this pin in I put oil on this pin just dip it the oil right here there's a collar right in here goes right around this I like to take it out of the bearing dip it in a little bit of oil and then I put it on here over there when I put the halves together that piece will go into that bearing this shaft goes in that bearing and you got your hole here for your shifter also you got to line up there's a hole here it's for your gearing basically this tells you on the dash what gears you're in you can see the sensors here so I'm going to start putting it together.